ISC 14 here in Leipzig, Germany. My name is Anna Scho from the ISC team and we're going to share the highlights of this conference with you in our daily video blog. So please enjoy the first day. Crawford from the Livermore Lab and um, Donna what are your impressions of the keynote speech? Uh, Professor Shulton is a, a great expert in biomedicine and I was very impressed that he highlighted what supercomputing can do as a discovery tool. We haven't gotten a lot of progress in biology until only recently like in physics, but I think it's because finally the computers are fast enough that we can actually do something with them that pertains to biology. So the, the one thing that I really, really loved was that he could actually model a, an entire organelle at the atomistic level, and this has promise for great dramatic discoveries in medicine. Do you have any expectations for the show coming up the next few days at ISC? ISC is one of my favorite conferences. I don't get to come every year, but um, I come whenever I can because I really get to compare what's going on around the world, much more so than at the United States Conference. And I want to always come as long as I can in honor of Hans Moyer, who was a good friend of mine, and carry on his legacy. We're just coming out of this uh, very interesting top 500 session and we have seen a number of interesting things here. One, one was the fact that uh, the number 500, the speed of the number 500 is not growing at the same rate that we saw over the last years. Uh, would you expect that uh, we see that same slowdown in increase of speed for the whole list over the next years? So uh, what we're seeing is a slowing down of certain machines and that's a result of, um, I'll say, an investment being put into high performance computing. Everything is going to be driven by funding. If the funding is there, machines will be purchased and those machines will be deployed in the scientific industry. That funding is not just for hardware. There has to be a, 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 a real build out of high performance computing, building out that whole ecosystem. So the ecosystem is driven by a number of things. It's driven by, of course, the hardware has to be in place, applications, the, the algorithms, the software, the operating system, the compilers, all have to be funded at a level which can support the kinds of architectures and machines that would be needed to build out that, that high performance computing system. So the first surprising fact there is actually it's, it's exponential. Mm -hmm. And naively, if you expect that we have systems twice as long, just means the trend should shift to a lower level, but that continue then continue along the lines of technology. So it should recover to the old growth rate, just at a lower level. And it's very surprising to me that we haven't seen that in the last five years. Uh, yesterday we had a workshop, and as part of the workshop we had an agreement that was signed between the government of Japan and the government of the United States, the Department of Energy. And uh, it was an important agreement uh, about system software to develop for high-performance computers, for future high-performance computers. And uh, it allows us now officially to collaborate uh, between Japan and the United States uh, on this very important system software. And we decided to do it here at ISC uh, because this is a place where internationally you bring together all people from different companies, uh, different countries, and uh, this was the ideal location because this is about international collaboration and cooperation. And so we took the opportunity yesterday to have that meeting, and the officials signed the document, and uh, we've just begun our collaboration. I'm here with Kenneth Root, the chairman of the Praise Award Committee, and Michael Resch, the chairman of the Gauss Award Committee. So Kenneth, um, tell us more about what impressed you most about the submissions this year. 
No, they were all very high quality, but the prize winner uh, really were outstanding in terms of getting uh, sustained high performance, uh, high performance in terms of petascale computing, and also the fact that there was a complex problem that had many elements that had to be solved, and that allowed you now to do uh, real scale uh, modeling of, of true seismic events. So that was very impressive. Michael, the same question to you. What impressed you most um, with the submissions for the Gauss Award? I think I, I agree with Kenneth that the quality was extremely high, but what was most outstanding this year was that people start to address the issues of scalability, and that means really large numbers of cores, large numbers of processors. Uh, people start to pick up on the problem, finally. I mean, for several years we, we have seen presentations of 1,000, 2,000, 4,000 cores. Now we see something like 100,000, 200,000 cores. Uh, we are headed in the right direction. Ten, nine, eight, Give me a little hint seven. about how it will be. We wanted to do the launch at the place where the HPC industry would be all together, would be in place to hear our big news. And where else would we do it at the biggest event in Europe for HPC? Four, two, one. <laughs> Party now and see you tomorrow.